Well, hello and good morning and welcome to Prepping for Prosperity. I'm Steve Smith. Um, when I thought about how to do and which, which, uh, how to lay out these first several videos, uh, I thought I, I want to cover some basics. Now, we're going to get into a lot of, of specific things later, but there are some basics that I want to cover because um, they are things that hold a lot of people back. Um, and they are things that once you get rid of them, you're going you're gonna to find that you're going to be doing a lot better. Still here at Big Cedar, the kids are out, uh, Kelly and the kids actually, the two younger ones are out on the paddle boats. It's 38 degrees. Dad doesn't go out on the lake when it's 38 degrees, but they're tougher than I am. I guess I used it when I was younger, but nowadays, when it's 38 degrees, Dad likes to sit by the fire. And if you hear noise behind you, we're down in the in the uh, the main part of the lodge at Big Cedar, so there's going to be people walking around and making conversation. Just enjoy it. The one piece of advice that I would give on this one, get off the poor bus. Get off the poor bus. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of people come from backgrounds, uh, working, working class, just kind of getting by backgrounds. I did, okay? I came from a family where um, you know, just having a good job is what you what you wanted to have. A lot, a lot of people say, if you got a government job, you got it made. You know, it was the the World War II generation. For the vast majority of people, weren't thinking about getting rich. They weren't really thinking about um, gaining any kind of wealth. They certainly weren't thinking about passing on intergenerational uh, wealth. Now the wealthy people were, you know. But most of the middle class and the working class did not. They each got their job. They, they worked through it to retirement, retired and didn't do too much. Maybe got a travel trailer and traveled around, you know, uh, while the kids started their lives. And then the kids started with, with really, you know, started at the same place their parents did with either a high school or a, or a partial or a full college education and then started a job with someone else. Well, the result of that was is that every generation starts at, at the bottom, essentially. And I know people that, that have said, uh, and, and I think it's very sad, well, my dad didn't give me anything. I'm not giving my kids anything. I want them to learn how to work. Well, uh, in my opinion, that's an excuse for not working harder in order to building more for your family. Okay, um, and 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 I, uh, you know, I've known people as probably you have from all different socioeconomic levels, and I do not find I have never found that those people who come from more affluent families were lazier than those who did not. Most of them were brought up to be hard chargers and producers because their parents had been, because that's how they had accumulated some, some family wealth. And so this idea that the, the so-called working man, um, that it was good that they started on the bottom to learn what work really is, well, that's... Uh, that's I think that's a misunderstanding and an improperly placed priority. Um, continuing on with that thought, many people grow up thinking that life is just one, you know, hard scrabble to the next, and we we see that in in the um, the figures from. Uh, you know, how many people don't have $1,000 in the bank, how many people couldn't get, you know, $1,000 if they needed it, um, people's credit card debts, people's, you know, how many people lost their jobs and, and as having lost their jobs found themselves in, uh, you know, some dire straits, losing, losing their house or, or whatever. And so we see that a lot of people never really have gotten out of this idea of working to pay the bills. 
You see, if you want to generate prosperity, you're not working to pay the bills. You're not working paycheck to paycheck. Um, you're working to build wealth. Now, when I talk about wealth, I'm not necessarily talking about millions of dollars, although if that's what you want to do, then set your sights on that. I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. You could be working a, 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 a minimum wage job. That doesn't mean that if you feel that you want to work hard enough to make millions, that you shouldn't. If that's you, then you do that. Don't let anybody hold you back. But most people really aren't, aren't concerned with that. Um, they just want to live comfortably. Well, too many people think they're living comfortably when they're living paycheck to paycheck and then uh, and, and, and are able to pay their bills. Okay, okay I made the, the mortgage payment, I paid the light bill, the gas bill, the water bill, the sewer bill, the insurance bill, uh, the homeowner's insurance, the car insurance, I made the car payments, because uh, people make car payments, right? Uh, what else? And I, and I made the credit card payments, so I'm doing pretty well. Well, you see, if you're working because you have to make those payments every month, you're going to have a real hard time getting ahead. So I'm not going to get into to how we're going to do that and reducing debt, certainly, but increasing income is even more important, even more important, because as you increase income, you're going to reduce the debt until you get rid of the debt, okay? And so I, I want you to look at things positively rather than negatively. And what I mean by that, I, I want you to, to look at things actively as opposed to passively. And passively means stop spending money. And, and if you're spending money you don't have, you should stop. But stop spending money is, is just kind of a passive way. Making more money is the active way. Does that make sense? Okay. And so when you're just making a lot of, so like I say, a lot of people think they're doing well when they're just able to pay their bills. Prosperity is not paying your bills. Prosperity is developing personal influence, personal wealth, personal value, okay? Developing, gaining assets so that when you're working, you're working to build further. You're building a better life. You're building a better life for your children. You're building something you can pass on to your children. Now, we'll, we'll get into all that's a lot of those things. I mean, all those things I could spend an entire video on and will in the future. But the point that I wanted to make with this, and this is one of the best lessons, is stop thinking like a poor person. Okay? Stop thinking like a person who is just saying, well, I'm on the bus. I got to keep going. This is the bus my daddy put me on. It's the bus that I'm on. It's the bus my family's always been on. We're just good people. Well, I'm sure you are, you know. But you know, there's good people who have a lot of money. Being good doesn't have anything to do with being poor. So get off the poor bus up here. This is where it starts. This is what you have to get in control first. Get off the poor bus. Don't stop the poor thinking. Stop the poor talking and start thinking that you are worth more, that you're the one who's going to make it happen. You're the only one that's going to make it happen. You're worth more. Your kids are worth more. Your grandkids are worth more. And it's up to you to start looking at how to change your life, change your direction. Okay. Yeah, we'll be talking all about that stuff, but that's the first thing. Until you get it here, until you get off the poor bus, none of that other stuff is going to work. So I'll be back with another one after you've worked on that. Say, I don't want to, I don't want and maybe you're not poor, I understand. I, I, I don't want to just be scraping by anymore.
I just don't want to be scraping by. I want to be comfortable. I want to live life without anxiety, without worry. That's the kind of life you should be living. That's the kind of life you're going to live if you do things right. You all remember that. You have a great day. Get out there. Start looking at the opportunities that are all around you in life. Think about how would I think if I were affluent? How would I think if I were more prosperous than I am right now? How would I think if I got off the poor bus? Okay, you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.